Hey, everybody, it's Mike from the Mike Widener Show, powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit our line at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs. Look at a professional website without breaking your budget. Sonic Web Studios is the answer. Sonic Web Studios offers fast, affordable custom web designs that blow the competition away. Call today, 1 800 303 3960. That's 1 800 303 3960. Or email to support at sonicwebstudios.com. Mention the Mike Widener Show, get 20% off your first project. Sonic Web Studios, take your image to the next level. Also, check out the latest novel by well-known award-winning author Mia Motion Z of No Time for Love called Missing, an extraordinary relationship between two ordinary people based on real-life events that go through four countries, two strangers, and one target, where truth is an illusion and the ones you love will be the first to go missing. Check out the book on Amazon. Other retailers available on all formats today. Also, The Mike Widener Show can be heard on themikewidenershow.com and over 30 podcast platforms, including Facebook, SoundCloud, Spreaker, Spotify, and iHeartRadio. Also, on Anchor FM, iTunes, Google Play, Apple, Amazon, Audible, and coming soon to Podbean, Buzzsprout, Pandora, and TuneIn. Also, heard worldwide on Geo7, Radio Public, Himalay, and more. Take The Mike Widener Show with you on any mobile device. Subscribe to The Mike Widener Show on the YouTube channel and follow The Mike Widener Show on Instagram and Twitter today. We're here with a wonderful gentleman who is back by popular demand. And uh, he had some uh, hit singles out with Free Time, Pop Truth, Mad, Mad Sexy, and also Immersion. And um, he's also irreplaceable as well, too. He also released Bubblegum and um, I Heart as well. And uh, lately, he has his own Vivo channel, and he's won numerous awards. And he began at the age of nine, and he's got a couple of songs he'll be featuring as well, too. And live, ladies and gentlemen, from the Plus Studio somewhere in the world, ladies and gentlemen, he's back by popular man, very talented, Ian Garen. Ian, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Thanks for joining us once again. Hey, Mike. Thank you for having me on the show. I'm so excited to be here. Well, it's good to have you back as well, too. And last we talked, um, you basically had some uh, material out, which you had some free time, pop truth, mad sexy, immersion, irreplaceable, and more. And you had a really interesting story that was starting off as well, too. You also got some uh, brand new material as well. And before we get into uh, what's been happening with you, once again, tell us quickly how you got started. Well, I got started at the age of nine. Uh, my my aunt, one of my aunts, took me to a recording studio because she heard me singing in her karaoke machine, and she said, "You know, you know, I know you can sing." So uh, I did. She didn't know I could sing, so uh, she took. She said, "I'm gonna gift you something," and she took me to a recording studio on my birthday, wow. and I recorded a demo of covers. I, I remember uh, Oops, I Did It Again was there by Britney Oops. Spears. <laughs> yes, and I was nine years old and I remember just going into that booth and knowing that that was it, that I wanted to do that for the rest of my life. Uh, I had um, some doubts in between because, you know, I fell in love and I wanted to get married and whatnot, but it was like a slight, uh, <laughs> a very small <laughs> moment of my life that I now look back at and I'm like, oh God, you know, the universe is really wise when it doesn't let you do those kinds of things, even though they hurt at the moment. Uh, so uh, in that moment. So uh, that's how I got started. Uh, when I when I decided that I, I wasn't going to pursue uh, going to college and getting married with my high school sweetheart, because it wasn't a plan that I wanted to uh, look back at at 40 and say, hey, this is what I did with my life. I uh, had three demos uh, by then. And I decided to uh, take out some of the songs that I had written in my spare time and put out a single. And well, the rest is history. That was in 2010. And uh, I was really young. And I, I, I think that I've come a long way. Mm. It, it does sound like you've come a long way. And you also had some music, free time, pop truth, mad, sexy, immersion, irreplaceable. Just quickly tell us about those songs and um, also talking about the songs and, um, you, you know, what's been happening with you between the last time we talked and um, now as well. I was actually, I got I to gotta tell you this. I was actually so excited to, you know, when I, when I uh, got the note that I was going to be on your show because your show was the first time it was like a year and a half ago right really that long wow yes i thought, I, I thought it was yesterday to be honest with you i thought it was yesterday time flew so fast oh my god yes <laughs> i know and it, it it was it was a year and a half ago and i was i remember being in the mayan coast i was uh, renting a house over there and and living there um and i had and at that time i had i had only given been given chance to uh do 
written interviews. I had been on shows, but like one or two, and um, and the rest was written. I ha I was in blogs and and all of that, like website magazines. And so the first time that I was like on a radio show was with you. And I remember, I, like, I, like I, I lost track. I thought you were like maybe on uh, 10, 20, 50, 100 array, but I, I'm glad we know. So I do feel honored. So, <laughs> yes, I, I, I've been like, and, and, you know, I've lost count of how many shows have happened since then. Like, it's been like 10 just this week. <laughs> but, um, but, um, but yours was the first one that I did. And I remember it's a really small town where I was at the first time. And I remember being uh, at a hotel, which is owned by a friend. And we were there in, in the gift shop. And she said, like, you got to run because it's your interview. And like the whole town was so excited. You know, I remember grabbing a cab uh, to my house. <laughs> and, and, and again, this is a really small town. So it, it's like a two minute drive. But everyone was cheering like, hey, there you go, you know, where you go. And and everyone was like so hyped. And I remember um, when when we um, finished talking, I went to the pizza place. There's just one. And I went there and my friends were there and like, hey, how was it? And when it came out, they actually played it in the restaurant. So we all it's could hear place. it. Wow. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> how many people were in the restaurant at the time? Um couple of a uh, dozen people more than a couple i don't know, like a couple of couple of like um, plenty come, like, come on is it a couple is it a plenty is it a dozen come on <laughs> come on it, it was over 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 a hundred people because that's one of the biggest pizza places wow there uh -huh. and it was one of the days where cruises come in so there was a lot of people because it's like deserted when when cruises don't come um, but it was one of the, those cruises days and they were there and all the tourists were there and the locals were there. So it was a packed house for, for that. And ever since then, my, like my life completely changed. Like I, I, I went to LA and I was at all these morning shows and I did all these interviews and, and show performances. So it's been a whole ride. So I was really excited to come back because I felt like, um, I've gone full circle. <laughs> now, now, did you tell people that you're, you're going to be on and how many people are in the pizza place? Is it still the same 100 people or or is it doubling by now where we're standing room only? And of course, um, oh, oh, it's right. I, I think we're only limited to a certain amount because of um, the pandemic, maybe six feet apart, or maybe just spread the whole town or something. You know, I don't know if it's going to be a hundred people now because of the pandemic. But what I do know is that there hasn't been a single case of COVID-19 oh, in that town. So wow. they are COVID free. They have a policy where they don't let people in or out without permission. So that like it's a thing from the people. It's not like a government thing where they instated that. It's like the people got together and said, you know, the only way to make this continue working is not by not letting, you know, uncontrolled situations happen. So they got they they have an agreement. So mm -hmm. they don't they don't wear masks there because there's not a single outsider. So I'm outside right now of there. You know, I had to leave and, you know, for the promo and all of that. But um, I can't go. I can't. I can't come back in. But I'll make sure to send the video so they play it. I'll, I'll certainly will. And uh, also too, I was going to ask you, um, what 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 pizza did you have? It's like I like sausage, pepperoni, onion, green pepper, a little bit of barbecue sauce. What's your favorite pizza? My favorite pizza is pepperoni. But that day we were having shrimp pizza. Ooh, shrimp pizza. I've never yes. heard of it. That is interesting. We're going to have to try that too. We'll talk more pizza. We'll talk about um, your your upcoming singles as well. But first, listen to the Mike Widener Show at the themikewidenershow.com. It's powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs. Look at a professional website without breaking your budget. Sonic Web Studios is the answer. Sonic Web Studios offers fast, affordable, custom web designs at below the competition way. Call today, 1-800-303-3960. That's 1-800-303-3960. Or email to support at sonicwebstudios.com. Mention the Mike Widener Show. Get 20% off your first project. 
Sound of Web Studios, take your image to the next level. Also, check out the latest novel by well-known award-winning author, Me Emotion Z of No Time for Love called Missing, an extraordinary relationship between two ordinary people based on real-life events that go through four countries, two strangers, and one target, where truth is an illusion, and the ones who love be the first to go missing. Check out the book on Amazon and other retailers available on all formats today. Also, The Mike Widener Show can be heard on the themikewidenershow.com and over 30 podcast platforms, including Facebook, SoundCloud, Spreaker, Spotify, and iHeartRadio. Also on Anchor FM, iTunes, Google Play, Amazon, Audible, Apple, and coming soon to Podbean, Buzzsprout, Tuned In, and Pandora, and plus heard worldwide on Geo7, Radio Public, Himalaya, and more. Take the Mike Widener Show at the end any mobile device. Subscribe to the Mike Widener Show on the YouTube channel and follow the Mike Widener Show on Instagram and Twitter today. We're here with singer, songwriter, and international sensation Ian Guerin, backed by a popular demand here on the Mike Widener Show. And last time he was on, we featured some of his music, including Irreplaceable back at the time. We also talked about Free Time, Pop Truth, Mad Sexy, and more. And now you got a couple of uh, new singles out there, and we're going to play those um, on the audio version of the Mike Widener Show. We've got for the holidays and chapter two and tell us more about those well chapter two actually happened by coincidence because you know we 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 went through the worldwide event of being at the same places at the same time starting march you know we were all at home for the very first time in history (laughs) and so so I, I i actually uh, quarantined in a townhouse in the outskirts of the city because i was there for the weekend for a birthday party of uh, co- my cousin had a birthday party and it's a family house so we went over there friday nor- normal stuff you know and uh it was a long weekend and uh, <laughs> then when 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 the party ended on sunday you know mondays that was we, we they were like oh there's no schools there's nothing you know we got a lockdown and so well i was stuck there so i ended up living there for the last for the for the uh coming three months for the next three months and um, my sister came in from la and um so she started quarantining there with me and uh you know, her boyfriend is a, a cinematographer. She's a director and a producer and a screenwriter. So they came in with all their equipment and all. And they were like, well, we got um, all of this and we got time. So why don't we make a video? And I was like, yeah, for sure. And so I, I always thought of chapter two as a single, but I never thought of putting it out after the previous singles were out I wanted to choose another song but they said you know the only thing the only way we can make this work is if it's a ballad right so um, we started working on it and we actually shot uh, all the video within inside the house Wow! like it has um, big spaces and whatnot you know in a court uh, yard and all but we actually shot all the video there and uh the model that was in the video is a friend of my sister who came in with her. And um, so we, 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 we did a really nice job. And what, um, what I learned from this experience is that whatever I think of a song of mine is different to what people might think of it because once it's out, it's for them to interpret. So uh, I, I, I wasn't sure that that was going to be a single that people were going to enjoy. And it's becoming my, my most popular song. You know, people really, really enjoy it. Like, of course, they, they have like free time laid down in their hearts and minds and encrypted and whatnot. But this one is like rapidly becoming one of their favorites because it speaks a really um, raw story about, you know, having inner fears and being a broken child and getting over that to be able to love someone the proper way. So I think that that's um, something that people will really, really relate to. Like what I wanted to, to um, the message that I wanted to, uh, co- that, that I want com- to come across was, with, was um, that you can become the person that you want to be with who you want, but you need to be yourself first and love yourself and accept yourself in order to provide a great um, environment for a relationship. And the story behind chapter two is that I wasn't ready for her before because I didn't know how to love myself. So I couldn't love anybody else. 
Mm -hmm. And I think that's very important as well, too. And can this song also apply to to uh, those going through the pandemic? Yes. And, and that's one of the reasons that uh, that I also agreed to release it, because it made sense to me. Like we have a lot of uh, new chapters coming up. You know, we have the vaccine happening now, starting yesterday in the UK. We have um, we have. Um, the elections, you know, we we have an, an incoming president, and um, so they're, they're, the world is changing. You know, it's going to be different starting January because um, we don't know how the dynamic is going to change with the back once the vaccine starts spreading throughout the world. But it is definitely going to uh, be better than it is now. You know, we don't know how the next administration is going to be. So we we have all the situations where where we're going to sort of start over having learned something. So I thought it does apply perfectly to like a rebirth and starting over from a place of knowledge. At least that's what I hope. I hope that everyone did their homework and introspected while they were on lockdown. Mm -hmm. and, and also too, besides what chapter two, we'll talk about for the holidays in just a minute as well too. here on the Mike Widener show. What are some of the other projects you've accomplished during the, during this quarantine? Well, promotion has been great. Like I haven't uh, stopped one day. Like I had, I started doing live sessions for uh, fans in Australia. Cause I got invited by, I, I just got a random email because back in the day I used to send a lot of emails to a lot of people and see, you know, throwing uh, the spaghetti to the wall to see what stuck. <laughs> or pizza. And, or, or shrimp pizza. <laughs> and, um, and, and I don't know, he got his, he got my email and he said, you want to be part of a live session? We have this artist. And I said, yeah, for sure. And I didn't know that we were playing for Australian fans. So I got that. And then I got, I, I met people through that that wanted me on their shows. So I did interviews almost every day. I wrote new songs um, also. I didn't have a lot of equipment there. So I have like a lot of features that I agreed to do uh, coming up on starting 2021. Um, but we got a lot of, of the work that I don't think would have happened done because we were there and and had the time to do it but i haven't stopped one day and now i got this live performance which i did um on a benefit concert a few weeks back and a lot of people missed it because i got a lot of fans across uh, the pond and they didn't see it because they were asleep <laughs> so they were they were like uh, uh mes messaging me and saying you know we need to have it on vivo you need to have it up on your channel we want to see it and so we worked that out and it's out uh, December 9th. So it, it's there and it's a, it's a really nice seven minute medley of the hit songs and the new single. That is amazing. Where can we find chapter two and uh, your other works and also your Vivo channel at? Um, Ian Garen Vivo is the Vivo channel. They can just go ahead uh, over to YouTube and just type Ian Garen and the Vivo channel is the first thing that'll pop up. And you'll also find the albums there. And you can also find the albums on Spotify, Apple Music, Pandora, Tidal, um, and Amazon Music, and Google Play, and all, any any all places. Ian Garin and Garin is G U E R I N. We'll certainly look for that. We'll talk about it for the holidays in just one minute. But first, listen to the Mike Widener Show at the MikeWidenerShow.com, powered by SoundCloud Studios. Visit online at SoundCloudStudios.com for all your needs. Look at a professional website without breaking your budget. SoundCloud Studios is the answer. Sonic Web Studios offers fast, affordable custom web designs that blow the competition away. Call today, 1-800-303-3960. That's 1-800-303-3960. Or email to support at sonicwebstudios.com. Mention the Mike Whitener Show. Get 20% off your first project. Sonic Web Studios, take your image to the next level. Also, check out the latest novel by well-known award-winning author Mia Motion Z of No Time for Love called Missing, an extraordinary relationship between two ordinary people based on real-life events that go through four countries, two strangers, and one target, where truth is an illusion and the ones who love be the first to go missing. Check out the book on Amazon of the retailers available on all formats today. 
Also, the Mike Widener Show can be heard on the MikeWidenerShow.com and over 30 podcast platforms, including Facebook, SoundCloud, Spreaker, Spotify, and iHeartRadio. Also on Anchor FM, iTunes, Google Play, Apple, Amazon, Audible, and coming soon to Podbean, Buzzsprout, Pandora, and TuneIn. Also heard worldwide on Geo7, Radio Public, Kimberley, and more. Take the Mike Widener Show with you on any mobile device. Subscribe to the Mike Widener Show on the YouTube channel and follow the Mike Widener Show on Instagram and in Twitter today. We hear singer, songwriter, international super sensation Ian Guerin here on the Mike Widener Show talking about his latest chapter two, what has been doing during the pandemic, and also a song appropriate for the Christmas season is For the Holidays, which is out, and uh, tell us more about that. Well, For the Holidays is a song that I recorded uh, two years back, and I put it out two years back, but the, the good thing about Christmas songs is that they get they get better in time, right? So uh-huh. I get the chance to promote it every year. And uh, people call it my best work. I don't know if uh, I necessarily agree, but that's for the listeners to go and check out and, um, be, uh, and, and decide for themselves, right? Mm-hmm. And, um, but it, it's a funny story because I had this girlfriend that, she wasn't my girlfriend, she was my date, but, <laughs> but, I, I, <laughs> but in my mind, she was my girlfriend. <laughs> and uh, she still is. Uh, <laughs> and um, and uh, she, she, we stopped uh, talking for a really long time, like three, four years. And uh, she like started talking to me uh, after that time. And then she ghosted me again. So um, I wrote that song. It, I, I remember it being October. And I remember, you know, saying, this is the year I'm going to write my Christmas song. I always wanted to have one. And I had several covers, uh, you know, Let It Snow and Jingle Bell Rock, also available online. And, um, and, and I started writing the song. And I remember, uh, you know, it just flowing out of me like you know I ain't gonna lie I don't like the way things are but I won't sit and cry I won't <laughs> you know <laughs> and um and you know I, I started writing it from a perspective like once I wrote that line I remember thinking like oh whoa wait like this is this is the moment where I decide what's it gonna be about right mm-hmm. uh you know and most of the Christmas songs they're about you know holiday cheer missing someone longing for someone or you know um you wishing they they were there you know or whatever or we're together and we're so happy in christmas you know whatever that's the least popular but it's there and so i said i said to myself like i want to i want to do a song that really reflects like my situation and i want to do a song that also has you know a seasonal feeling but with no strings attached because there are a lot of people who just want um to be with someone during the holidays, just to not spend the holidays alone. So right. I was like, there you go. Like, that's a topic that I want to cover. Like, let's be a couple for the holidays so that we can enjoy the perks of the holidays, like the gifts, the joy, and the parties, and the love, and, you know, all mm-hmm. of those things that go on. And then, you know, come January, we can just break it up, you know. We, you know, and there are a lot of friends that, you know, don't want to necessarily hook up with their friends, but they have an attraction, right? And they, they, they can just be couple for the holidays. So I wrote it, you know, like a proposal to her, to that girl that ghosted me. And in, in the hook, you know, you can hear me say, you know, I never gave you up. So don't you think for just one second that I gave you up? Cause I didn't, and I won't. And um, so let's be, let, uh, so at least, so let's call it ourselves love just for the holidays. And so I started describing a certain uh, string of situations where like, you know, I remember, and and this is funny because during the pandemic and the lockdown, one of my friends uh, from high school came over. He was, he had been uh, at home for a month and he was bored. He, it was him and his dog and he didn't even go out to the grocery store or anything. Mm -hmm. And and one day we, we told him like my cousin and I, we told him like, Hey, do you want to come over? You know, just drive. It's a two hour drive. And it was like 8 p.m. And he was like, I'll be there in two hours. <laughs> and he, <laughs> he went over there and we had a few drinks. And the reason why this is relevant is because that night I told him about how he was part of the song because he had a girlfriend in high school and I had just broken up with mine. And, and they came into the sushi place where we were eating one Friday and they were both wearing Santa hats. 
Oh. And I was like, damn, I wish I could have a girlfriend like to <laughs> wear a Santa hat and come in looking that well, right? And I told him that story and he was and I and I was and I played the song for him and he, he was like, Oh well, thank you for putting me in the song. I don't remember that event and I'm <laughs> thank God that I don't. <laughs> but yeah, it's not you, it's me in these times. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but I was like, I was trying to make him feel good that he was in the song and he didn't even remember that situation. But I was like, well, it's there forever. And I think that it's, it's, it's a cool thing to do. Like, you know, you, you like someone, you know, buy matching Santa hats and go places. And that's what the song says. Like, so we wear Santa hats like my friends did back in high school. And we might look stupid when we walk in the room, but people will will uh, wish they were wearing them too, right? Because that's it. Like people want to have love, but if they see someone hooking up with someone, they'll be like, oh, they don't look that great together. But that's because they're jealous, you know? So it covers a lot of things. Like, and so I think it's a very inclusive song. And we live in a world where, you know, romance... I have another song called Feature in Your Life, also included in my replaceable album that says love and romance is dated and love's overrated. <laughs> and I know we live in that world. <laughs> so I, I, for the I, I, I can manage you uh, come me up and saying, uh, hey, I like your Santa hat. Can I uh, hook up with you for the holidays and then we can uh, split after New Year's and you can go on with your life. And maybe if I run to you a, a Santa hat, do it again next December. Can we do that? <laughs> so. That is a great idea. Like, you know, <laughs> have it be a symbol of that. Or, or that, you, that is actually a great idea. Or, or, a, or, a, or a follow up for the holidays, too. It's just like, you know, this was great. Let's do it again. Something like that. And, <laughs> you, you know, all kinds of ideas, come <laughs> it too. And, and since you wrote that song two years ago for the holidays, does that does that theme also apply to the uh, pandemic where people are going to be um, in near isolation during the uh, pandemic for Christmas time where instead of coming over to people's houses, risking getting COVID and doing the Zoom thing. It's like, does this apply also to a pandemic during the holidays? Yes, I hadn't thought of it that way. But, you know, if you, you know, if there's a new wave of lockdowns coming up. So make sure when, when it starts in your hometown, for everybody listening, make sure to be, to lock down with someone that you kind of crush on, you know, make sure to invite them over and then you play them the song pop up a bottle of wine and um and you know make it happen for 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 that yes definitely i hadn't thought of that but it, it definitely applies because you're not going to get to pick and choose like you usually do when you go to the, all these holiday parties so you you're, you're going and it's going to sound awful if i say it this way but it's going to gonna be like that you know you're just going to have to take what's there so make sure uh, the person that is there is someone that you actually like so that you can spend the time and for, for sure like you know what are we gonna do during lockdown lockdown with a friend and hook up <laughs> and have you know buy some gifts and make it personal so that we don't have to go out and we're out of the situation the sooner the better and don't forget the virtual mistletoes. Oh, for sure. There's a part that says that all the mistletoes will be marked. We were here, baby. So buy a lot of them and put them around the house, <laughs> like on top of the fridge and, you know, uh, wherever you want, like in, in, in the upper part of the closet. And so, you know, make it a thing where you can, you know, just go around the house and say, oh, there's a mistletoe coming over. Kiss me, <laughs> you know, <laughs> and get something started. Like we can have fun inside and without putting others at risk for sure. I hadn't thought of that. You're giving me too many good ideas today. And I think that's really good. I'll have you back on next year and uh, you can uh, tell us how it went too. And where can we find part of the holidays at? Um, all places, all streaming services by typing Ian Guerin for the holidays. Again, Guerin is G-U-E-R-I-N. And um, it's there as a single or if you got the album, um, if you get the album, like live, like buy the album, it's a bonus track on the album so that you have everything there. Like I tried to bundle it up so that they got it all in one piece, but the single is available. It's available on Instagram and Facebook with the lyrics so that you can dress up your stories, you know, you can pimp them out with that. So everywhere, Ian Garen for the holidays. 
that is amazing. We're certainly looking forward to that. Once again, singer, songwriter, and international sensation Ian Garen here on the Mike Widener Show. A very big thank you for your time. You're always fantastic. Looking forward to having you again in 2021 and beyond. And um, tell us about your upcoming projects and, once again, your website and how do people contact you and where can people uh, purchase or listen to your music? Thank you for having me. And, well, um, for 2021, I have a lot of collaboration plans. I also would like to tour. I don't know if that's going to be possible. But if not, I'll have a virtual concert for sure. So people ought to check that out. And um, and I, I, I wish to have, like, new music videos, especially the collaborations, because there are really interesting people that I want to work with. And um, so there, there are a lot of projects coming up. You know, I can't line them all up because I don't know in which order they'll, you know, they'll come out, but um, it's definitely gonna be a busy year, hopefully um, the busiest as was 2020. And uh, well, my, my songs, again, they're available everywhere. Music is streamed or sold, you know, just by typing Ian Guerin. And um, my social media is uh, at I am Ian Guerin on Instagram and Twitter. And on Facebook, you can find me as Ian Guerin, uh, the Facebook fan page, um, just is, is Ian Guerin with a white picture and shades. Or you can also add me to my personal page. Uh, there's a follow button there so you can add me. So everywhere, but especially Instagram, because that's the one that I like the most, like at I am Ian Guerin on Instagram. We certainly would do that. Once again, Ian, a very big thank you for your time. You've been absolutely great, and you're always fantastic and always look forward to having you again very soon. Do us a favor, keep us up to date. Love you back then in 2021 and beyond. And do me a favor, please keep in touch. I love hearing more of your stories, and maybe we'll have a pizza sometime, virtually, by the way. <laughs> for sure, for sure.